what are ions cations and anions before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free firstly let me teach you that why atom is a neutral particle even though it contains positive charges and negative charges well consider an atom of hydrogen if you count the number of protons in it you will get one proton and hydrogen atom so i write p is equal to positive 1 remember that protons are positively charged particles now if you count the number of electrons in it you will get only one electron and hydrogen atom so i write electron is equal to negative 1 Remember that electrons are negatively charged particles. Now let me do here a little maths. We know that positive one and negative one cancel out, so the net charge becomes zero. Or you can say that positive and negative charges neutralize themselves in hydrogen atom. So atom is therefore a neutral particle. Now consider a carbon atom. If you count the number of protons and electrons in the carbon atom, you will get that the number of protons is equal to positive six, and the number of electrons is equal to negative six. Thus, positive six and negative six cancel out each other. Hence, carbon atom is a neutral particle. Therefore we say that atom is electrically neutral because it has equal number of protons and electrons. Now what are ions? Well, consider an atom of sodium. Remember that I only draw the valence shell of sodium. If you count the total number of protons and electrons in the sodium atom, you will get proton is equal to positive 11. and electron is equal to negative 11 we know from the previous slide that they both cancel out themselves and atom is thus a neutral particle let consider that you provide sufficient energy to this atom as a result it loses one electron now if i count the number of protons and electrons in the sodium atom i will get proton is equal to positive 11 and electron is equal to negative 10 because the sodium atom has lost one electron here positive 11 and negative 10 is equal to positive 1 hence the net charge is positive 1 on it so now sodium is a charged particle secondly consider a fluorine atom There are nine protons and nine electrons in a single atom of fluorine. We know that positive nine and negative nine cancel out each other, and net charge is zero on fluorine atom. Hence, fluorine atom is a neutral particle. Now consider that fluorine atom gained this electron lost by the sodium atom. Initially there were 9 protons and 9 electrons but now one extra electron is gained by it so we write here negative 1 positive 9 and negative 9 cancel out and we get negative 1 so the net charge on the fluorine atom is negative 1 it is now a charged particle in chemistry a charged particle either positive or negative is called an ion let me repeat it in chemistry a charged particle either positive or negative is called an ion so when a sodium atom loses one electron and become positively charged we call it sodium ion when a fluorine atom gains one electron and become negatively charged we call it fluorine ion from this example we also learn that ion may be positive or negative positive ions are called cations and negative ions are called anions my personal mnemonic for remembering them is very simple 
there are two n n in ions so it is two times negative while there is only one n n cation so it is less negative means it is positive the sodium ion is also known as a cation and fluorine ion is also known as a anion remember that atom may lose and gain one two or more electrons depending on its valency and ionization energy to summarize my lecture we learn that atom is a neutral particle because it has equal number of protons and electrons secondly we learn that when a neutral atom loses electron it becomes positive ion known as a cation when an atom gains an electron it becomes negative ion known as anion this was all about ions cations and anions